Welcome back to another episode of Southern Food Junkie. Today we're going to be making spaghetti pasta salad. This is a great dish to have through summer, cookouts, barbecue. It's a great side dish. You can even make it a main dish if you want. So let's get down and show you what we got. You'll need a yellow and a red bell pepper. A pint of cherry tomatoes. Two tablespoons of McCormick Perfect Pinch Salad Supreme. One pound box of thin spaghetti or angel hair spaghetti. You will need a one 16 ounce bottle of zesty Italian dressing. You'll need one small can of black olives. You'll also need one zucchini. I like to leave the skin on it, but you can peel it if you prefer. You'll need one cucumber. I like to peel mine unless I'm using an English cucumber. You also need one small red onion. You'll need a third of a cup of Parmesan cheese plus an additional two tablespoons that is separated and set aside. Grab a large stock pot, put it on the burner, salt your water, put a little olive oil in there, and next we're gonna add in our spaghetti. While that's cooking, we're gonna go ahead and get our vegetables prepared by chopping them up. Now that we got all of our vegetables chopped up, our noodles are done, we're gonna take them over to the sink and strain them out in the colander. And we're gonna rinse them with cold water. That's important. Rinse them with cold water that helps keep them from sticking as this is gonna be a cold pasta salad. So we're gonna um, toss these around a little bit to help them get all that starch off of them. All right, so we've cooked our spaghetti. We've taken it over to the sink. We rinsed it off with cold water. Next, we brought our spaghetti over and we put it in our large mixing bowl. Now we're gonna add in all of our vegetables on top of this and try to incorporate them as best we can. Set your large mixing bowl with your spaghetti and your vegetables and your olives off to the side. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a small mixing bowl and we're going to put our entire contents of a 16 ounce bottle of zesty Italian dressing into our bowl. Now you can make your own Italian dressing if you prefer. It's probably the best. It probably would taste the best. But um, if you don't have that, just, just buy a nice high quality Italian dressing. So we're going to pour it into our bowl. We're going to add in our Parmesan cheese. And remember, we set aside two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese to put on top after our dish is done. Kind of like a topping presentation type thing. So we got one third of a cup Parmesan cheese that will go into the bowl. And then we'll put in, and then we'll put in our Salad Supreme uh, salad seasoning. Now this is the key to this, what really makes this, uh, this dish pop. You really need this. If you don't have this, check the description box below. I'll try to put a link, an affiliate link down there below. I did have trouble finding this item myself. Um, for some reason, McCormick has had trouble getting some of the things out. They also make Old Bay seasoning, which has been kind of hard to, uh, to get a hold to also. Um, so check the description below and I'll put a link here if you would like to uh, purchase it through our affiliate link. As always, all this will be all the ingredients will be listed in the description box below. Also, the instructions on how to make it. And if you want to, you can go to our blog, southernfoodjunkie.com, and there will be a printable recipe there. So y'all make sure y'all check that out as well, and you can pin it to your Pinterest or whatever so you can get back to it for later. Pour the entire contents of your Italian dressing into the small bowl. Next, we're going to add in our third cup of Parmesan cheese, and then we're going to whisk it until it's well incorporated. 
Next, we're gonna grab our Salad Supreme seasoning. And we're gonna add in two tablespoons of seasoning and then we're gonna whisk that well as well until it's well incorporated. Now we're gonna pour half of the contents of our dressing over the pasta salad, and then we'll mix it well to incorporate that. After a few tosses, pour the remainder of the dressing over the pasta salad, and then toss that well until it's all well incorporated. You want all the noodles and all the vegetables to be very well coated. The last thing to do is to set this dish in the refrigerator for at least two hours. I think the next day is probably better than it is the first day that it's made after those ingredients have time to marry and kind of penetrate the noodles and, you know, marinate the vegetables. So, you can store it in a refrigerator in an airtight container for three to four days, but if you want to prepare this the day before your cookout, I think you'll be just fine and it'll probably even taste better. So after you you know, chill the dish, that's when you want to eat it. So if you're going to eat it the same day, at least put it in the refrigerator for up to two hours. Alright guys, so this dish is pretty much finished. I want to note that you can add any kind of vegetables that you want to in this. Like if you don't have cherry tomatoes, you can use grape tomatoes, or you can just simply use regular tomatoes. The grape tomatoes or the cherry tomatoes are a little bit sweeter. And uh, if you don't have like red onions, you can use, you know, sweet white onions, Vidalia onions, yellow onions. Um, the combination that I'm using here gives a very beautiful presentation with all the different colors in it. But you can mix and match what you want. I also want to add that if you wanted to make this more of a main dish, you could simply add in some pepperoni for some protein, or you could add in some ham, and then you could have it with a regular side salad. So you can use this as a side dish, or you can use it as a main dish. So make sure y'all give this dish a try. I'm telling you, I've been eating this. My mom's been making this since I was a kid. We used to bring this to church. My aunt used to make this. Is really where this recipe um, is where I first learned about it. Of course, we didn't make this recipe. This was... I don't know, it's, it was probably in a church cookbook somewhere back when I was a kid, but you know, this when, when, when you have uh, recipes and all that you grow up with, they kind of become part of your childhood, and when you have these recipes, they take you back to your childhood. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel. We'd love to have you stick around, and we'd love to hear your comments and suggestions and when you try it. Also, there's going to be two videos that pop up right here. Check out those videos as well. I'm sure there'll be something that you'll like. We'll see you next time on Southern Food Junkie. And remember, let's get food junk.